Greetings for the day dear students. Today I will start a new topic that is bioenergetics and ATP cycle. In this topic today I will discuss DNA polymerases. DNA polymerases are responsible for DNA replication. DNA polymerases are the enzymes that catalyze the template directed synthesis of DNA. DNA dependent DNA polymerase they catalyze DNA template directed extension of 3 dash end of DNA strand. They cannot initiate a chain de novo. They require a primer which may be DNA or RNA. DNA independent DNA polymerases they uh, are responsible for reverse transcription. They catalyzes RNA template directed extension of 3 dash end of DNA strand. They cannot initiate a chain de novo. They require a primer which may be DNA or RNA. Now we will discuss the discovery and history. DNA polymerases were discovered uh, in Estertia Coli in 1955 and for this Arthur Kornberg got the Nobel Prize for this discovery and discovery of D DNA polymerase 1. DNA polymerase family it is of several types DNA polymerases A it includes the archetypal E. coli DNA polymerase 1 type B includes all the eukaryotic polymerases involved in chromosome replication next are RT, X and Y they include enzymes for DNA repair or specialized types of replication. In prokaryotes the uh, different types of DNA polymerases are DNA polymerase 1, polymerase 2nd, DNA polymerase 3rd, 4th and 5th. In eukaryotes, more than 15 DNA polymerases alpha, delta and eta, uh, sigma and DNA polymerase Y are found. DNA polymerases in prokaryotes. DNA polymerase 1, this is a repair polymerase and is involved in the axison repair of 3 dash, 5 dash and 5 dash, 3 dash exonuclease activity and processing of uh, Okazaki fragments generated during lagging strand synthesis. Most abundant polymerase accounting for more than 95% of polymerase activity in E. coli. Cells lacking polymerase 1 have been found uh, suggesting polymerase 1 activity can be uh, replaced by the other 4 polymerases. All one adds nearly 15 to 20 nucleotides per strand. DNA polymerase second. Paul second has 3 dash, 5 dash exonucleus activity and participates in DNA repair. Paul second is also thought to be a backup of Paul third as it can interact with heteroenzyme proteins and assume a high level of processivity. The main role of Paul Sekin is thought to be the ability to direct polymerase activity at the replication fork and help uh, start Paul third bypass the uh, terminal uh, mismatches. DNA polymerase third primary enzyme involved in DNA replication in E. coli and belongs to the family C polymerases. It is the core consists of three uh, subunits alpha the polymerase activity hub exonucleocyclic profactor and theta which may be a stabilizer. The holo enzyme contains two cores one of the strand the lagging and leading. The beta uh, sliding clamp processing factor is also present in duplicate one for each core to create a clamp for that encloses DNA along, allowing for high processivity. DNA polymerase 4. It is an error prone DNA polymerase involved in non 
and targeted mutagenesis during SOS induction pol 4 in production is increased tenfold and one of the functions during this time is to increase with the pol 3rd holoenzyme processivity this creates a checkpoint stops replication and allows time to repair dna lessons via the appropriate repair pathway dna polymerase fifth pol 5 is a gamma family dna polymerase that is involved in sos response and translation synthesis uh, dna repair mechanisms DMLA, DNA polymerases in eukaryotes. Semi conservative replication of DNA, use of single stranded DNA chain as a template, and four deoxynucleotides TTP, DCTP, DGTP, and DATP as precursors for DNA synthesis. Assembly of precursor nucleotides on the template to form complementary DNA strand selecting the incoming nucleotide using the base pair rules AT and GC. To start synthesis on single stranded DNA molecule, DNA polymerases need a primer. The primer is length of RNA or DNA that is annealed to the single stranded template. Polymerases involved in the chromosome replication. Polymerase alpha has an associated primase activity capable of synthesizing short approximately 10 nucleotide RNA primers. DNA polymerase alpha is the only enzyme that could be involved in the primer synthesis during initiation at origins of replication. Alpha polymerase is also required during the elongation step for the priming of synthesis of Okazaki fragments in the lagging strand. <coughs> After DNA polymerase, alpha has synthesized a short 30 to 40 nucleotide stretch of DNA. A process called polymerase switching takes place in which polymerase alpha is displaced from the template and synthesis by polymerase delta and probably eta takes place. Polymerase delta is a multi subunit uh, polymerase and probably functions at the leading and lagging strands of the replication fork. It has been proposed that the function of DNA polymerase may be restricted to the lagging strand perhaps only in the maturation Okazaki fragments. Polymerases involved in DNA repair. Polymerase beta. In base excision repair, removal of an altered base is followed by excision of a single AB, a basic nucleotide. DNA polymerase beta then re, uh, serves to fill the missing nucleotide. This involves an activity in the N terminal domain of the protein that removes the 5 dash phosphate remaining other nucleotide excision followed by polymerization reaction to fill in the missing nucleotide polymerases alpha beta and gamma in conjunction with the RFC and PCNA as cofactors here in this diagram the 3d structure of the DNA is shown binding alpha turn helix binding alpha turn helix uh, motifs in the human DNA polymerase beta. Polymerases with specialized functions. Polymerase sigma has recently been discovered to be the necessary for ensuring that two replicated chromosomes, sister chromatids, remain attached together after DNA replication. This continued association is important for ensuring the proper separation of the chromosomes in mitosis. Telomerase, it, it is required to complete chromosome synthesis for replication of the telomeres and at the ends of the chromosomes. This enzyme is actually an RNA directed DNA polymerase. It is unusual in that it is not template directed but uses an internal RNA molecule 
to direct synthesis of short repeated sequences that are added to the ends of chromosomes. Polymerase gamma. It is found in mitochondria and is required for replication and repair of the mitochondrial DNA. Now we will see the applications. The applications are DNA cloning, the polymerase chain reaction PCR, DNA sequencing, single nucleotide polymerase uh, polymorphism that is SNP detection, whole genome amplification WGA synthetic biology and molecular diagnostics. The polymerase chain reaction that is PCR. DNA polymerase 1 from Thermus aquaticus TAC that is called TAC polymerase is widely used in PCR. It is isolated in 1976 from the hot springs of Yellowstone National Park where it thrives at 30 degrees centigrade can be activated by heating the sample and remains active with high temperatures required to de denature DNA strands typically 94 degrees centigrade. It allows uh, repeat, repeated cycles of denaturing, annealing and extension th that is called thermocycling without the need to add additional polymerase at each cycle. Pyrococcus furixus PFU. It is hyperthermophilic discovered in lower geyser basin of Yellowstone National Park. Its DNA polymerase that is PFU has been used in many PCR applications. Pyrococcus furixus has a feature that is absent in TAC polymerases and exonucleus nuclease domain that has 3-5 exonuclease activity. This allows PFU uh, to proofread using conformational change. DNA sequencing technologies. Sanger DNA sequencing was used to sequence the first draft of the human genome in and remains a stranded and widespread method to determine the DNA sequence. New next generation sequencing methods have dramatically increased sequencing output while lowering costs. DNA polymerases have been engineered to incorporate the modified nucleotides used in DNA sequencing, genotyping and synthesis of artificial DNA. Molecular Diagnostics Isothermal amplification techniques such as loop mediated amplification that is LAMP have been routinely used as di diagnostic tests to detect infectious diseases. An engineered thermostable viral poly polymerase with RT and DNA polymerase activity that can be used in isothermal RT LAMP detection of RNA has been described. Now what's in future. Molecular biology will move forward analysis of low concentration biomolecules for that is a single set of chromosomes. Novel amplification techniques are also required to profile uh, genetic variations among single cells because the quantity of the genomic DNA from a single cell is insufficient to sequence directly. Therefore, DNA must first be amplified prior to further analysis. Synthetic biology aims to design new biological systems such as genetic pathways, operons and genomes and thus may require long chromosome size amplification. Current DNA polymerases introduce errors during amplification and thus DNA polymerases with very low error rates are needed to ensure that long amplified DNA are exact copies of the starting material. Thank you. Have a nice day.